Hey guys, this is Jenny with Pat Family Homestead and for our crochet video today I want to talk to you guys about patterns. Um, I've been asked by a few people to kind of explain how to follow patterns. Um, I will try my best to explain it. Uh, I generally don't follow patterns anymore, um, but if there's something new that I'm trying that I've never done before, I will attempt to find a pattern for it and um, follow along the best I can. I usually just make it my own thing. So there's two different kinds of patterns. There's the written out instructions and then there's also diagrams, which I hadn't ever followed along with a diagram before or even really looked at one until I made that doily, that book that came in the carousel package that I snagged. So that one is the one that I'm going to use as an example for diagrams because that's the only one that I have. Um, and then I'm going to use one of my old, um, it's like a hooded, well yeah, hooded scarves, that's what they're called. <laughs> a hooded scarf pattern. Um, one of the simpler ones, um, just to show you how they write out the different stitches and, and kind of explain from row to row. So I have those two books with me and I'm going to go over those with you and kind of show you some of the stitches that they might mention just so you can get a, an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Um, obviously we've only gone over single crochet and double crochet. There are so many more than that. Um, so I will show them to you, but don't feel overwhelmed. There really is a lot of different stitches. So I'll just show you kind of what's in the book um, and explain the terminology of everything. And hopefully you can follow along. So let's get started. Okay, so for written out instructions, kind of the nice thing is they usually tell you the finished size that it's going to be and the fit size, you know, one size fits most adults. It also or it shows you the recommended um, weight and that's for what they've used for this project to be able to get those sizes. It tells you what size hook to use, um, how many skeins of yarn you're going to need, and then the gauge is using a size K hook that they said and using a worsted weight for yarn nine stitches equals four inches so that'll help you determine measurements as far as like what size that you need your project to be so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chain 178 for this one I mean I'm not making this but okay so your chain stitch is starting with your slip knot wrap it around under the first, grab the second, and pull. And then yarn over, pull through, yarn over. So this is your chain. That's what you're going to do 178 or whatever it is that the project says to start with as your chain. That's what this very beginning is. Okay, so that's your chain. So from there, you can choose to put a marker in, a row marker. Um, they make specific crochet markers that you could purchase or you could use a scrap piece of yarn of a different color, whatever it is, and you want, you can put it at the end of your chain, end of your first row, second row, whatever row you're on. And it just lets you know that that's the end of the last stitch or the first stitch of that row. And um, so you know where to end at. Okay, so what it says for row one. So you did your chain and now you're on row one. Single crochet in second chain from hook and in each chain across. So you'd end up with 177 single crochet in the end. So SC is single crochet. H is chain, SC is single crochet. So that means, I totally just wadded this up in my hand, that you're going to single crochet in the second one is what I say when I say to skip the first one and that counts as your first stitch of the next row. So you're going to go into here. Single crochet is when you insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And it wants you to do that all the way across. It wants you to single crochet all the way across. So then you would insert your hook into the next chain, 
yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, all the way, leaving you with 177 stitches, or whatever it is that your project calls for. So then you can do the marker on the end of that row. So row two is and three, so you're gonna do this twice. You're gonna chain one and turn, and you're gonna single crochet in each single crochet across. So for both of those, you're gonna end up with 177 stitches again. But first, you're gonna do your chain one. Pretend I went all the way across, I'm not doing it. Chain one, and you're gonna turn your project, maybe. You're gonna skip that first chain where you chained it, or where you, um, you're going to first skip the first stitch where you chained one at. Hold on. That'd be easier if I'm actually at the end of the row. So, give me one second. Okay. Chain one. Turn. All right, here we go. Now it looks a little bit better. So, like I said, you're gonna skip the first stitch because you chained one and that acts as your first stitch of the next row. And you're gonna single crochet into the second one. So you're gonna insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. And you're gonna do that for two rows, equaling 177 stitches across both of those. Okay, so I'm not going to continue on with the description of this scarf um, just because it does get into a lot of more detailed stitches that I haven't even done enough of the project to be able to cover. So I will show you some more stitches that you might run into when reading projects um, just so you can kind of see how to do those and also um, I'll tell you what the abbreviations are. But one thing that I did want to point out on this pattern is these star markers right here, sometimes they're stars, sometimes they're asterisks if they're on the computer, um, anything like that, means that what is in between the stars, you're going to repeat. So, for instance, this one says chain one, turn, single crochet and back loop only a first crochet. And then you're going to work a long double crochet and then a single crochet and back loop only. And then repeat that again, long double crochet, single crochet and back loop only. And you're going to do that all the way across, ending with 89 single crochet and 88 long double crochet. I keep calling it long double. I think it's long decrease. No, it is long double. Woo! Got it right. Okay. And so then down here, whatever's in between this star and this star is what you'll repeat till the end. Um, things of that nature. So there's those as far as reading a pattern. Okay. So some other stitches that you're going to encounter. Um, so I've shown you, you know, how to read rows, um, they were all single crochet, but still rows. And I've shown you double crochet, which is the yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a single, and now a double. There's also going to be half double crochet which is abbreviated as HDC, single crochet, SC, double crochet, DC, half double crochet is HDC. And that is where you yarn over, just like a normal double crochet, you're going to insert your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and the difference here is you're going to pull it through all of them. So it's only half the height of the double crochet. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all. That is a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all. Okay? So that's another one. So that's HDC. Um, slip stitch, which is where you can change colors. Um, it's how you end rows when doing 
things in circles, hats, bowls, things like that, um, on some patterns, um, ending projects, things like that is your slip stitch, slip stitch, and that's S L S T. And that's where you insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the chain on your yarn. And that kind of like ends, ends your project. That's a slip stitch. Again, that's insert hook, yarn over, pull through stitch, pull through chain. I'm going to do that again on the end to end this row. All right, I got all, all kinds of funky going on here. Um, another one, you might see back loop only and front loop only. That's, and most of the time it's single crochet, but I won't swear to it. Sometimes it is double crochet. Um, let me get out of this slip stitch area. I'm just kind of making up my own thing right here. Okay, so I'm going to single crochet back loop only to show you what that is. So as I've explained before with your stitches, when you look at the top of them, you have these two strands, strand on the left, strand on the right. Whatever way is facing you is considered the front for what you're looking at. So in this case, this is my front one, this is my back one. I'm gonna single crochet back loop only. So instead of going under both, which is how you do a normal stitch, I'm gonna go under the back loop only. Yarn over, pull through that stitch. Yarn over, pull through both. So that is a back loop only. Do that again, under the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. And the appearance from that gives you kind of like a beveled front edge. Now I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to do a front loop only. So it's this one closest right here. Because there's your front, there's your back. So same thing, just go under, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That gives this side a very flat appearance, but it does the keeps it beveled on this side. I don't know a different word from beveled, so that's how I'm going to explain it. Gives it texture. Um, you're also going to see, I don't know if I can do it, um, triple, not very common. These ones are probably the most common, slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, front loop only, and back loop only are probably the most popular ones. but. I'll show you a triple anyways. So triple, you yarn over, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. It's a very tall stitch. Ignore this. So, very tall stitch. Um, it can 
be great if you want to make like a fashion scarf. Um, definitely, you know, the holes in between are larger, so it's not going to provide warmth, but it can make for a very nice open stitch look to a scarf or something similar. So that's a triple, and that would be TR, I believe. There's triple and there's treble, and then there's a triple treble. I don't know that one yet. Um, so that's kind of more stitches for you. I know that was very quick, very basic, but hopefully, you know, you followed along and can see the differences in the stitches. I have quite quite the mess right here <laughs> of everything, but hopefully you were able to kind of follow along. And again, if you have questions on anything, let me know. And as we work on more projects, then I will um, show you what stitch we're using. Um, if you have a pattern that has something that I haven't shown you yet and you're interested in finding out what kind of stitch it is, let me know if you have a pattern that just doesn't make sense because some patterns do um, abbreviate things differently, then you're welcome to send it to me and let me know. Uh, just email it to us, prattfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. Now the other kind of patterns are diagrams. So this is the book that I got in the carousel package. And I'll just come right back here to this one because this is the one that I did. So this is the doily that I made. And I had no idea what I was looking at at first, but I finally figured it out. So right here in the center, it's telling you to chain 10. So chain 10 around, and then you're going to um, slip stitch them together. That's what that black dot is. And then you count your chains, which, not this page, but, no. Um, you're going to these open, this is not the way that it is for all diagrams. Most diagrams show you or have a, I call them a cheat sheet, but an explanation of what the description is. So like an open one is a chain, an X is a single crochet, that the dark circle is a slip stitch, um, etc. So then it's telling you to chain. <laughs> You're going to chain one, single crochet, then chain three, and then these were triple crochet. So two, tri or, I'm sorry, double crochet. Two double crochet, and then one, two, three, chain, two double crochet into the side. I know that's a little confusing. Into the side of those. Um, and, and you just, you worked that around. Then you would single crochet, into that chain, three chain, two double crochet there, three chain, two double crochet into the side, and you work your way around. Patterns, um, diagrams are a little bit harder this way, and that one was very confusing. It probably wasn't the best one for me to start with, with never doing a diagram myself, but, um, but once you get the hang of it and you know what the symbols mean for each pattern, I'm trying to find another one real quick, then it really isn't too intimidating. Um, this is called Set a Pretty Table. And it is, let me see. I'm not looking at all the cluster up here. So I believe that these are triples. So you chain, it shows you right here chain 105 and then you're going to do five triple chain five five triple chain five so that's what those indicate and you do that for one two three four five rows and then so that's the first five rows repeated the same and then rows six through ten change it up a little bit um, based on this edging here but they're repeated the same, and the next five rows, you know, are a little bit easier. This is just a regular double. So, um, just kind of got to figure out what the, the meaning of the 
stitches are by the, the information sheet that comes in your pattern book. Um, if you don't, if you're getting a pattern online, it might have have the descriptions on there already. So, okay. So I hope that that made sense. <laughs> um, I was just trying to explain you know, what the abbreviations were, so then hopefully you can follow along with patterns. Like I said, there's the two different kinds. There's the written, and there's the diagram. Um, I'm still fairly new to the diagram, but if you have questions with those, I can help. Like I said in the video, um, any patterns that you find that you have questions on, feel free to email them to us, pratfamilyhomestead at gmail.com, and I'll take a look at them and see if I can help explain them. If you're looking for a pattern, then let me know. Maybe it's something I have, either in a book or I've already got bookmarked online or something. Um, once I kind of figure something out, I, I don't really follow patterns anymore, and most stuff I look at a picture and I just make it myself. So I may or may not be able to help out with the pattern binding, but um, I'll see what I can do. So definitely let me know what you think. Let me know if I made any sense. If you have questions on any of the stitches, like I said, with future projects and stuff, whatever stitch is going to be used, I will be showing you how to do them either during or prior to starting the project, just as a refresher. Um, but those... Those are the basic ones. They go into front post and back post, and like I said, there's the triple treble, and I don't even know what that one is. Um, and there's cross stitching and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So there is a lot that can be done, but these are the, the most popular, the ones that I see on almost all patterns. So hopefully that helps kind of give you an idea of how to do them kind of give you an idea how to read patterns and diagrams so then you can really branch out and start anything that you want to make really. So um, let me know what you think. So be sure to like, share, subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. As always, our email is pratfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. Check out the Etsy store and our PO box is also listed below. So I'll catch you on the next one. This is Jenny from Pat Family Homestead. Bye.